I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Builder. Today we're showing you how to cure 3D resin prints and we're going to show you one tip that most people don't use. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> So we're gonna use the Elegoo Mercury Plus to cure these 3D resin printed dice that we make. Uh, and I'm gonna show you the process. Now, one of the things to think about with um, resin curing is the thickness and the size of the model, the weight. The dice itself is actually pretty, pretty thick, right? But the handle is actually pretty thin. So I'll show you how I handle that with different weights, but if you have a smaller model like a mini or something like that, you don't need as much curing time. If you look on the internet, people tell you everything from like, oh, cure it for like three hours, which is an exaggeration, and some people say I only cure it for 30 seconds. I don't know. What I do is I actually cure most things somewhere in the range of two to about four minutes, and I also do something special at the end that I actually think my, makes my prints cure much better. So I'm going to show you what I actually do. Um, the first thing I do is I remove the supports. I, I break them away, right? Some people soak them in water. You could do that. On this model, I definitely don't need to do that because of the way this model is designed. They break away pretty easily. So I'm going to break away the supports. Okay. I'm going to remove any that are sort of sticking to the print itself. Then I'm actually going to put the support here. Now, we're just going to do two dice so you can sort of see. Same thing, I'm gonna break away the support. Something satisfying about the way the support sounds when you uh, break it away, I don't know. <laughs> so this crunchy, crunchy sound. Now, I never cure my prints with the supports fully attached. But what I do do is I break the supports away and then I lay this in here. And it's just the way I cure my um, models, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this now. You can see I do a lot of production runs of things, so I print a lot of stuff. So you can see here that this is pretty beat up, right? So what I started doing is using just a simple container to put on the Lazy Susan that's inside of the curing station. And then what I do is I just put my model in there. It keeps uh, some of the uncured resin from attaching to it. Now. I sort of fit two of these dice in here. So I'm sort of just gonna stack them like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do sort of two cures. I'm gonna do a short one for one minute. And that's basically going to let it cure, also let the supports cure. Then I'm gonna take them out and then I'm gonna cure them a little bit longer. So let's get this cured. Okay, now that that's cured, what I'm gonna redo is I'm gonna remove them from the curing station. And I'm gonna take the supports off. And now I'm going to put them back into the container. And then I'm going to put them back in for another two minutes. Okay. Now these are pretty much cured, but I have one last step because there's always a little bit of, um, you know, resin residue, right? I have one more step. And like I said, I don't like to over cure these because this is a solid print, so it's very thick. And this does take more to cure than this handle. But the problem is if I over cure this handle, it gets very brittle. And as in comparison, this was in there for about you know, three minutes, whereas something like this, I'd probably only cure for maybe a minute, minute and a half. I'm gonna show you what the last step is. So it's a nice sunny day and resin cures in UV light. So what I do is I take my models and I leave them out 
in the UV light for a couple of hours. And I feel like that actually finishes them off really nice. I love curing my prints after they've been in the UV station in the sun. But what people don't realize is you don't need a curing station to cure UV prints. You could actually just put them outside, leave them outside in the sun for a little bit, and they will cure. Guys, for more tips on 3D printing and making, make sure you like and follow. There's something so satisfying about this sound of pulling supports off 3D prints.